We now return to Let's Play Rogue State. So, things are sort of on the ups now. Things are doing a little bit better, and that's really good. Uh, Parliament is going towards a more positive attitude, and pretty soon, hopefully, we'll be getting excess approval, which I can start spending to basically bump up approval with everybody. Um, unfortunately, we are stymied still by my very low income, and that's really not going to turn around until the trade deals are done. Uh, by then, however, I'm hoping that that approval will also have been gained, and we won't really need it anymore. Uh, the only thing aside from approval is, uh, well, actually, it's all approval, because the sweatshops are just approval with capitalists, so that's fine. Uh, let's go check on the newspaper again. Yes, because capitalists almost make up 50% of our country. Um, we do have one minister who is now very upset with me. Uh, if the liberal faction gets smaller, or alternatively, once I can go over here and start buying rewards, I might consider kicking out my minister. We need ministerial approval. Um, where is it? Yeah, this one. So the, uh, the honorary degree, I can just buy that. And these things actually boost faction approval by a lot. Like, I could take that 20% hit by firing the guy, and this would just wipe it out immediately. Um, so, we'll look forward to that. Uh, unfortunately, it means that for several turns, I mean several turns, the trade agreements last for a long time, uh, we kind of just have to sit and do a lot of nothing. Still the state finances, yeah. Uh, taxes, that, now that is something, but unfortunately I can't really, uh, lower taxes more than I've got. Um, another thing that I can do as well, uh, once we get approval high enough, I can push taxes up to, uh, like 30% or something. And we can also buy approval through that. Like I said at the very beginning of this, uh, this Let's Play, that is a very cheaty mechanic, it feels like. It does, however, help you out in some dire situations. So, let's go ahead and make phone calls. Now, the thing is, I kind of planned on maybe conquering the region at some point. Raising approval with all these people isn't necessarily uh, conducive to what I want in that regard. However, we can't always just turn around and be complete dicks. So, I mean, you know, there's that. May as well see what we can get, though. Uh, Keep talking to both of you at the very least. Thank you. And we have nothing to talk about. Okay. I'm just gonna go through, talk to everyone, get the ambassador over here, and we'll just call that an end to a turn. Uh, now this would add a negative. I'm assuming that this would also add a negative because they don't like the the right. So nothing to talk about there. I'm sure I just did this in the past few episodes. Ah, now, Babelistan is going to be a problem. We need to do something to fix relations with Babelistan. Especially since they are the ones who are currently having my very important commodities traded. Uh, now, this would probably help, actually, but we definitely cannot provide funding. You know, I've never selected this. Let's go ahead and try it, just see what's going on there. We are interested in jointly funding with the United States development projects in your country. I am not sure what I find more insulting. The fact that you are conspiring with the Americans and interfering in our affairs, or that you think we would be naive enough to accept it. I... I thought that you liked the Americans and the UN. I thought that was your thing. Well... Goodbye. Let me look at the approval now. Oh boy. Yeah, we're, uh... Babelistan might be our first victim. Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It is always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. She seemed a little bit uh, positive there. Maybe we're doing okay. Uh, so yeah, hurting Babelistan is okay because they're kind of the, the peaceful faction, right? I mean, they don't... 
they don't like militarism and all that, so they might uh, they might be an easy kill there. Some Basenjis, particularly in the Karif province, chew a tree sap resin known as bush satch as part of an ancient social custom. Bush satch is a mild opiate that induces euphoria and excitement that is legal in most of Africa and the Middle East. New evidence indicates that bush bush satch may be far more harmful for consumption than previously believed, linking it to certain cancers and birth defects. Ban possession, uh, which hurts pretty much everybody. Legalize consumption, which hurts everybody. Oh, but banning production and trafficking. So you can have it, but uh, otherwise regulate. That still lowers. Plus one mil a turn, or I don't see the problem. I'm using it now. That'll increase Karifi support. We might need that in the end game. I would hope that it would work with the fundamentalists, but let's go ahead and just... whatever. What could possibly go wrong? After all, we're probably going to sell it to the rest of the world. Or at least the rest of the region. Thank you for seeing. It is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, small talk. I am pleased. I'm pretty sure at this point this would not be useful to me. I believe very well. I hope. I just wanted to touch base. It's also a free action. I mean, aside from the call, but you know, talking to her in the morning. Approval continues to go up. At 18 from last time. Up 18% from last turn. That is crazy. And fantastic. Patriots are 91%. This is largely, largely due to the bonuses we're getting from the resources, I'm, I'm willing to bet. Because if you look at our actual policies, you know, especially for the capitalists, that's negative two from the policies. But overall, overall, we're doing much better. I mean, we're actually doing a lot from policies there. Uh, National University, Fundamentalist, we might want to do that. We've only got 17, and that's going to cost like 50 to get the... Uh, well, more than that, because we got 50 there and then 100 for the religious schools. So yes, we're not going to do much with the money. What I actually want to do, though, is save up for the hospital. Not necessarily for the liberal approval, but just for the health. Um, however, what we really, really do need to go down is the military and security and uh, the intelligence agencies. Really, at this point, I can only save that for when the trade agreements go down and I get my 40 mil a turn back. That is when we're going to be able to fund all of this stuff. We're going to be able to start a secret project. Uh, we're going to need this clandestine facility if I want nukes. So that's kind of the way we have to go. And when you look at these costs, well, the intelligence service uh, is a variable cost. So in my budget, I get to decide how much money I want to spend towards that. But just having... The facility is going to have two. If we go cyber warfare, which is going to help, you know, gives a 33% of doubling unit attack strength when invading another country, that'll help. That's five, and then we've got the counter-terrorism unit, which I'll probably want. I mean, maybe. Maybe. It's domestic terrorist threats, so we don't really have that problem right now. Um, Arms Bazaar would help the GDP. So maybe we don't have to go there just yet. We don't really have that, that issue. Another thing we do want, though, you see this other thing. Uh, I believe that is 10 military approval. I think maybe that would... That's what that is. I seem to think it is, because this is the Presidential Guard, and this helps you. You can use this in the end game. So we definitely need to unlock that before the game ends. Um... Drone warfare. I mean, that's. I mean, there's a lot of money there. So we basically have to shift focus completely to the military if I'm going to go down that route, and I I really want to. Um, approval ratings. I know the factions are small, and it doesn't seem like they're important, but at the end game, it does matter because you get bonuses for certain levels of approval amongst all your people. So it's nice to at least have them up to eighty percent for that. Um, otherwise, we're just going to need a lot of military. And the thing is, too, that the military units themselves take up a lot of upkeep. So, yeah, basically, at the end game, once we've got this approval situation going, provided that the capitalists and the patriots remain my largest group and I can just pander to them, I can start turning down policies for liberal causes and uh, 
for fundamentalist causes, although I, I should probably not disparage them too much. But I can ignore them, turn some of that extra money into, again, the military, and, and build that up. So that's what we're looking for there. Uh, let's just go into the situation room right now. Another thing that high approval is going to help me with, too, if I start saving up for that 80, I can get a free tank brigade. So that'll save me the uh, the 100 or whatever it costs every turn. Well, not every turn. A tank takes up uh, 3 per turn, but it's 120 per purchase. Um, so that would be nice. They've got good defense. I think... F when I go offensive, though, I definitely want some rocket batteries and uh, fighter, fighter squadron, squadron, blah, blah, blah. fighter squadrons would be nice. Uh, a couple of them, anyway. But I want to replace those infantry with some tanks and then maybe a couple of rocket batteries. I honestly don't know how much we are going to need. Uh, I've not yet really seen the military aspect of this game, which is one of the reasons that I want to go down that route. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need to start getting like the, the intelligence stuff going because I have no idea what what all this is. Um, I can't imagine Babelistan has a lot, seeing as how they're not the military. Trajikistan, however, might be a challenge if I ever want to, to bump heads with them. So I, I would really hate to just waste the turn here. But I think at this point, until we can actually do something, we just need to ride what we've got and somehow I've got 6% now going with liberals. How? How? Uh, labor rights are coming back up. That's good. We managed to, to get that going. Uh, can I bring that down to there? That hurts labor again. And more importantly, it hurts the uh, the patriots. If I do take it to the one... Uh, but this isn't the only approval. Uh, we, we do have those bonuses. So that's, that's a good thing there. Uh, labor was coming up. Actually, wait. Maybe I can turn the capitalists up by turning... Oh yeah, there we go. So now now that we've got labor... I mean, if I keep going, labor rights will go really high. Um, that might be good. We might kind of need that, kind of want it. But we also need to look at jobs. Jobs are still fine. Um, GDP is hurting, though. Let's go ahead and turn the unions down since we can totally afford it. That'll stop hemorrhaging from the capitalists. We'll start actually gaining more of them, just because. Um, in fact, we can keep going with this. Because now... We'll try that. We'll turn it back down to a consumption ban. We tried tolerating alcohol, and uh, turned out it wasn't such a great thing. You can go back to drinking in your own homes, but you can't get it anywhere. Um... Here, anyway, in, in Basenji. Uh, so that'll work for now. I I would actually like to get support back up. Again, doing that's going to cost money because these are money policies. So we have to wait on that support. We do have some support coming in through the bus system, though. If I turn that down, that also turns it down for the Patriots. Okay, we'll leave the public transport up. and I, I, That'll slowly, should slowly raise support, uh, social support, but we really do need to turn these back on at least at some, some point. Okay, so that was uh, a quarter of a turn, and really the only thing I can do. Uh, I really want that to go somewhere. Let's just read the newspaper for the hell of it. Bush Chach 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 regulation considered. Glorious leader shares medical benefits of chewing resin. Mm-hmm. Babelistan keeps going down, and monarchist graffiti results in jail time for a minor, 14 years old, convicted for spreading obscene material. Yeah, polling numbers remain, or at least the, the polling size amongst our factions remains the same. Okay, we'll just end the turn here and move on. In a recent speech, you... Ah, oh, shit. You declared the establishment of a national unemployment insurance, so no Basenji need ever fear losing their job. Our policy analysts have assessed that this will be a severe drain on our national treasury, amounting to 150 million real, requiring 5 million a turn to maintain it. Uh, we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to come back on that. It's gonna hurt cabinet loyalty a lot. 
which is not good because we didn't really have strong support in the cabinet to begin with. Uh, I'm afraid that's going to have to be how that goes. And now, because of that, more citizens are joining the liberal faction. Let's go see this. This is what I'm more worried about. Okay, well, still high enough that we're getting a bonus that's being counteracted here. So, eh. having uh, having high approval... Oh, Jesus, I lost uh, loyalty points there, too. However, I'm now gaining six per turn, so... Well, whatever. Uh, pretty pretty darn high approval with them. So, we got 20 mil. Again, can't really do much. You're probably just going to tell me the same thing. State finances. Yeah, some of them are poor. Some of them are poor. Our capitalists depend on you to ensure our economy is competitive in the global market. I advise adopting policies that will make it easier for our country's exporters. So basically, just because uh, our policies are, are negative on the capitalists, he's telling me that, uh, that we need to focus towards that. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get Babelistan at least to neutral. I don't know. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Um, yeah, these are both negative for them. Right? Why do I have talking terrorism? Because they feel safe. I don't think I've ever actually tried this, though. We must work together to counter extremism both within and outside our borders. Many of these extremist groups are supported by the United States to contain our regime. We lack the resources to address these threats. Okay, well, that was a neutral response. But, uh... Well, I'm I'm completely off guard here. So they don't like the U.S. They mu they must like the U.N. but not the U.S. So Western imperialism. I mean, are we talking about all of that, or are we talking about just the United States? Let's find out. We are very worried about Western imperialism. Unfortunately, dealing with the West is a necessary evil to bring prosperity to our region. Okay, well, I'm just assuming that's a neutral thing there. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. So what did that do? Absolutely nothing. We got the United States off our back, though. I think uh, I think that's high enough that we've got them situated. Uh, right. Okay. Well, here we go again. I guess read the newspaper just for something to do. Public waits for unemployment benefits. Glorious leader fails to deliver on promises. Is Farouk sporting a new hairstyle? Brother to the glorious leader spotted with a dashing new do. He's trying to get attention for himself. That's not good. Citizens more open to liberal ideas, seeking reforms. Public increasingly pushing for greater liberty and equality. Ooh, jeez, that was a huge jump. They went from 15 to 24. They are now a quarter, quarter of the faction. Fundamentalists, uh, largely we can get more of them. Uh, we, however, we, we still have, yeah, the plus three with them, so can't say that's all bad. Um, we do only have the one extra thing. So basically this plus one is being uh, counteracted by Farouk. So we're getting plus three with them. Alright, well, here we go. The Ministry of Justice reports that illicit opium exports from Basenji fundamentalists have risen threefold throughout our land borders. Increased border patrols? Not gonna work so well. Raid rural communities and arrest the growers or ensure that our own narcotic smugglers are not undercut by these entrepreneurs. Crime will go up. Relations with the United States will cool. It's really the only thing we can do, though. We can't afford the rest of it, so... There we go. So, let's look at that. Uh, that is not actually what I wanted for relations. This isn't how I find that out either. I've completely spaced how to find... Is it really just at the end there? Whatever. Yeah, liberals are back up by three. the 3%. 5% now because we helped out the, uh, I guess with the opium. Fundamentalists love me now. Patriots are my biggest fans. That's really going to be helpful. 
Uh, and then we go climbing again, climbing, climbing, ever onward. Any policies we can adjust? I mean, not really to gain anything. We've got GDP. This is taking down GDP. We can't really do much with the fundamentalists. Yeah, and again, we we need all that money as much as we can get. Why? Why? Why did that happen? If I pump them up, uh, we'll leave it as is. Uh, I guess we can't really turn up. We, we better hope no major disasters come hit us either, because that'll be kind of bad. Um, okay. So, wow, things are, things are progressing a little too fast now because we're just skipping through turns because I can't do anything. That's kind of bad because it also means that I can't really do anything development-wise. What I'm really doing in my second year, I guess, is just building up my base support so that in the third year is when we'll start doing more development. Fourth year, military expansion, maybe? Well... Some people are quietly lobbying for Basenji to implement tax shelters for its wealthiest citizens. Doing so could sway some of them to throw some of their wealth and their support toward your regime. I'm open to this, but expect them to become patrons of the revolution. That really only helps capitalists, but it increases our income. Now we have big patriot approval. Fundamentalists are tiny. Liberals, uh, we're not on the best, best of... Uh, Greedy capitalists seize their assets and use them to finance my regime. Yeah, capitalists are my largest faction. We definitely don't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and, and do this. We'll take a dip on the Patriots, but we're totally getting enough approval from them anyway that uh, I think it's fine. There we go. Ooh, ooh, big hit on the Liberals. Uh-oh. Minister Matala requests you boost your popularity with liberals to 59% in the next in the next five turns. I think we can do that, actually, just by leaving it as is. I mean, if it goes plus three, we'll hit that in three turns, provided I don't do anything else stupid. We're back up to 94 plus seven. We got, now we're getting five per turn. That's good. We'll build that up a little bit faster, too. Uh, newspaper. Growing wealth disparity or surprises nobody. There needs to be more spacing between these words. Government corruption rumors circulate. Scientists named Marmot after General Adad. Honoré was unavailable for a statement. And Basenjis prepare for a heat wave. Demand grows for access to beaches and private pools. Yeah. Patriots are on par with the liberals, or vice versa, really. The liberals have grown now to be on par with patriots in size. Big chunk for the capitalists, so maybe that's the way we need to uh, we need to go. Still going up, 11% because of what we did there. So, I'm okay with that. Let's check in with Adad and see if the military still loves me. I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, I still don't know what I did to make them do that, aside from buying them a tank. But uh, I don't believe I've had any options, really, to... Uh, to discuss increasing their uh, their approval. Let's take a quick look at the clandestine operations. Right, it's only this. and That starts at an initial cost of 50, 60. I don't know, having a Basenji space program would be cool. I don't think we want to do this either. I think we can find more use out of the the nukes once we go a conquering, which is going to take some time. Uh, I really don't know who to talk to. I guess we can go talk to both of you and try to get them up, up, up. Thank you. Uh, did he give? Me, was he the one who gave me the business about religion? While we may glorify the old ways, we must not fall victim to the trap of institutionalizing it into the state. We agree and share your views that the only way to run a fair and just state is to keep the old ways where they belong. In our hearts and homes, but not in government. Good. 
Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. So, the thing about Bothia is that they also hate the West, but they're, like, they're, they're basically our perfect partner right now, because they uh, are technologically advanced, and uh, they don't like the West, and they are a major trading partner, mostly because of what they're giving me are the, are the bigger bonuses. So... This is actually working out very well that we ended up being friends with them. We might have to take on Tragikistan. I don't know. if I, I have no idea, like I said, what that aspect of the game is like, going the military route. But I suppose that if we became a little too powerful, they might, especially if we go conquer Babalistan, uh, they might take issue. And uh, they aren't backed by the United States, though, are they? I know when we talked about the West, he said they were a necessary evil, but uh, kind of like what she did, but I don't know that they're actually supported by the United States, and I wouldn't be able to find out until I actually raised them higher so I could ask her uh, to give me a little bit of dirt on my neighbors. Really what we need to do is open up that intelligence, so let me have a look at this again. To get to that, we're talking 150. We're very far, far, far away away from that. So, I could prematurely end those trade deals. Like I said, though, I'm really riding the approval bonuses that they're giving me, especially for these two. But now, now that liberals make up a quarter of the, the population, I need them up as well. So, we'll just keep, uh, keep chugging along here. Turn 24 is going to be the end of my second year. Archaeologists in the mountains claim to have discovered the oldest known transcript of the old ways in a series of caverns that is also home to stunningly fragile stalactite formations. Make it a holy site, but be sure to charge admission. That will help out with the fundamentalists greatly, as well as the capitalists. Um, people will flock to it. We must protect the pristine beauty of the place at all costs, even if it means restricting access. That increases patriots. We don't need increasing with the patriots, so we'll just go ahead and make it a holy site. And be sure to charge admission. It would be nice if we also got a bonus to our, our income with that. There we go. There we go. Ah. Agreements to Babelistan have expired. Uh-oh, those are our exports. We need to get those going. We definitely need to get those going. Um, I know exactly who to give that to. Good. So, 80% just not to spoil it, but 80% is the cutoff that you want for the end game if you want that certain faction to help you at the end. So we've done that with the fundamentalists. They are uh, getting zero. Yeah, I guess. They're getting zero per turn, so that's kind of where they're staying. We do, however, still, for a little time being, have plus three, plus two coming in, thanks to the, uh, the trading. So... We can still get them up a little bit further before that all dips off. They actually go up. Yeah, they only went up by three. But uh, we don't have to worry about these guys, and we're now at 100%. So let's go check out the bank and see how many extra points. Two. Okay. So as long as we continue that for a few turns, I'll at least get the ability to boost my relations with, say, B Babelistan if I really wanted to. But what I really want to save it for is... Uh, starting to get the military for free. I mean, we got the, the upkeep costs, yes, but just getting uh, some free units there would be nice. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yes, we now need to go into the trade, and I believe I know exactly who I'm going to trade those with. Not Babelistan anymore. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, let's see. Our garments are slightly going up, but electronics are coming down. However, uh... Is that all? Is it, Oh, because they have electronics. Yes, ah, damn. Okay. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji garments? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. And we should get a pretty damn good deal. Really? Only 100 and... Ah, uh, whatever. Still, 14 is 14, so... That's better than the 11 we were getting. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. 
Okay, well, we'll go ahead and uh, talk to Tajikistan then, because they are the next highest. We'll get better prices for that. I'm hoping. Thank you for taking my call. And electronics. Electronics is a little above oil right now, which is... Oil has been dipping down pretty hard for them. I see. That's not, uh... Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji electronics? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. We get a, a capitalist bonus uh, for oil, so if it goes down even further to the point that it's affordable, I might want to trade for it just because. Um, that is fantastic. 23. So we're going to get quite a big boost now to our income. 91% of the market rate. That's could be better, but still, I mean, the fact that electronics... We got really lucky having a, a high-priced commodity like that instead of, you know, goats and garments or something like that. So, now we should have decent income again. I don't think that'll flip over until next turn. Uh, but once we've got that coming in then we should be able to start making major purchases, so that will be nice. Um, you know what? Before moving on to the next turn, I think I'll just go ahead and end this one here, and then we can start the next episode with the end of turn event. So I'll see you then.